Dang, oh, I'm so excited to see Zulu's run one, I'm at Smash Evo. Girl. Nope, Town City. We're going to TNC, and we have a, f a Guana with a net watching in the background, I which mean, kind of unnerves me a little bit, because he doesn't have eyelids. <laughs> he's just watching. It's like, like he's seen <laughs> so much esports in his life, <laughs> and like he just wants to see it. Okay, so I mean, I know that um, for because last was it last week? Oh man, it was already a week ago. We went to Midwest Man Four, and I stayed at your house the night before. Mm -hmm. And I saw that Dr. K Blaze was improving pretty well, but you said that you don't really practice with them all that much. I but never I, play with them. I've, we we play like five games like once every couple weeks, which is surprising to me considering your brothers and you live in the same home during the summer. No, we don't. He oh, lives in Madison. okay. Well, that that, is, that solves it. Regardless, That's what can you tell me about the improvements that that Dr. K Blaze has made in the interim? Well, for starters, he's playing the game now. <laughs> yeah, he actually like seems to practice and care. Yeah, I, I mean, I, it's not so much that he never cared; it's that like. Like, during, during the school year in Platteville, he doesn't really have any high-level people to practice with. So now that he's in Madison, he gets to play with people like Marshall, Xander. Guns, like, yeah. Yeah, he gets more high-level practice. And now he's starting to, like, be mo more motivated to improve. Mm hmm But so now you're definitely seeing him work on his spacing a lot more. He's going for a lot less risky options except for that. Yeah, <laughs> as um, you say that. Yeah. But, like... Like, you're, you still see his old habits come out every once in a while, but right. he's definitely improving. It also helps that he doesn't play an awful character anymore. Rob's not awful. No, I meant Shulk. Oh, well, that's been like five months or like eight months or something like that. Rob, Rob's been his main for a very long time. That was a good side B. That was a good side B. One thing I'm really liking from Dr. K Blaze here, even though, I, like, we'll, we'll talk about two Shane's game too. This is Dr. K Blaze's oh, game there we one. Go. Got him on the left. Um, he's, he's been spacing really, really well. Um, there's been very few times, like, when he got KO'd was the first time he really misspaced and yeah. he, like, chose the wrong move. But otherwise, you know, he's, he's been pretty good about using the, uh, you know, superior range that Korn offers to his advantage. The one, the one thing that uh, Dr. K Boys really needs to work on is his overuse of smash attacks. Yeah. He uses them in a lot of situations where there's not a whole lot of benefit to it. Right, like even if it hits, it's only like, it's, it's just damage, it's it doesn't really matter. He go for way safer options like forward air, and neutral air, things like that. Like, and he'll also go for a lot of smash attacks at like the ledge. Like to try to cover like ledge options. Oh uh -oh. no! And I'm sure he was try just trying to angle that, that up B to the side to get to back yeah, to the ledge and unfortunate. unfortunately oh. um, angled it too much on his control stick and caused himself to side B as opposed to up B, cost him his stock. So yeah. going into game two here, let's say a little bit about two chains because we pretty much talked about K-Blaze the entire time. I want to get you versus Brian on stream next. I want to get you versus ODC on stream next if you can. Oh wait, no, they're playing, are they playing doubles? Yeah, they are. Okay, never mind. You should, oh, uh, like, in we'll wait, we'll wait. yeah, tell him to wait so we okay. can just play that one. Okay, so um, two chains. Resident Yoshi. Get one second, round of winners. Second only to, I would say, Kamaru. Yeah, I, he's he's certainly the second best Yoshi in Wisconsin. And he just played against uh, Red Star, eliminating him, who is doing really well. Yeah. Uh, as the set went on, 2 chains was adapting very well. Yeah. He's figuring out the matchups, facing around, and camping Luigi out with Egg. So he's a very adaptive player. But right now we're seeing uh, Dr. K-Boy is just a nice juggle. Gets him the surprise down there. One thing I'm uh, like liking from Two Chains because he took that game one um, is again his he's he's being very like neutral in his approach like he's not super aggressive he's not super passive he's staying about a half stage quarter stage away you know putting on a little bit of pressure with eggs um, but otherwise just you know using Yoshi's good frame data to to you know sneak in and sneak out um, normally we see a very aggressive Two Chain so I'm happy to see that he's he's reined in in just a little bit yeah and, and it's okay to go aggro in some matchups or situations but like. One, if one, if you're not very sure of how to play a matchup, if you're unfamiliar, it's better to do what he's doing, or like if the matchup restricts you from doing so. Right. He, I think he's definitely playing the matchup correctly. Oh, and he gets up, he gets the up air. That was a, a, a quite good up air. I wish we could see what the stock count was. It's one EHG. <laughs> what? Uh, EHG. I wish we could oh, see what the EHG, stock count okay. was. That would be nice. Yeah, that would be that'd be cool. It looks like they're uh, re re resizing it so that way you can see the stock count. Fantastic. <coughs> there we go. Yeah, Perfect. right on. That's, that's the wonderful Much work better. of the guys at Event Horizon Gaming hosting this event at the 42 Ale House, where we are seeing 2 Chains try to edge guard here and he gets with an there. egg, but he instead catches and the turn winner. Come on, Ron, get it together. All right, so um, that's the one thing about Korn in this matchup is like, 
if she lands a hit, she's probably going to get some good damage in. Mm-hmm. Because her juggles with her aerials are very strong. Yeah, she has a lot of really strong confirms. Like, way more. Like, for someone with that kind of kill power, I really am like, why does she Holy get so many upper. links? This is not Holy fair. Uppers. Okay. The eggs. I, I, it looks like Dr. K-Boys are getting out of air dodge. But, like, I, I'm sure he doesn't want to, like, fall into a rising up air, but, like, he took a lot of damage from eggs that he probably could have avoided. Yeah, I've noticed like, that Dr. Cable said has a lot of difficulty landing thus far in this matchup. Oh, and he just barely dodges it. I, I, you could hear the up forward smash coming mm -hmm. out from Dr. Cable. That star saved him. Star. Oh, there we go. Good confirm. You know, it's situations like that, um, I would have liked to see Dr. Cable's maybe try the, the Randy up B, like just for the style combo, because I, you guarantee that 2 Chains wasn't going to be expecting that. Yeah, but that could also cost in the game. True. So, like, if he gets an oh nice up smash. That That'll was an excellent finish. Yeah, the reason I wanted to see the up B there though is because two chains air dodged into the platform. And that was huge. And okay. I mean yeah, he could have he could have just fast fall to the ledge and been fine. So I mean when you're when you're down a game, like sometimes you gotta risk it to get the biscuit. Go for the big biscuit risk. Yeah. You, the the biscuit risk is the most important risk. You could ever biscuit. Yeah, almost. You could risk it, but I was hoping that you'd throw in another rhyming Triscuit. <laughs> Tris Triscuit. Enjoy, Triscuit. enjoy a delicious Triscuit while you're risking it for the biscuit. Exactly. Alright, we need to stop. Bars. We are going to, to Battlefield. And uh, oh, that's something I didn't know. What? That um, Neutral B from Corrin, the dragon shot, uh, stopped the egg lay. Like, it actually did the paralyzation as okay. opposed to just, like, clanking. I mean, that's how it does the Sonic side, but you saw it hold. Otherwise, I'd be mad as hell. A lot of stuff, like, though, I noticed on Yoshi's side B, because it's, it's a rare move to see. Um, is a lot of times it like clanks though, and it kind of pops him out, but it doesn't actually hurt him. I'm really not liking the stage choice by Two Chains because this just gives Corrin more opportunities to juggle him. This was Two Chains' counter yeah, pick. Wow, yeah, that's two chains one game one. That's really surprising that he would go here. Yeah, I mean the range is tough because that means that you know he can't really plant, camp under the platforms because you can attack him from center stage. And along with Corrin's superior kill power, like I just don't, I would go Dreamland if you're looking for the free platform. Right. Or even Lila would have been better. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's probably scared of getting stuck on this. Thing. I mean, nobody likes Lilat, so I, I get I it. Like but Lilat. well, that's true. You do like Lilat. No, no one sane likes Lilat. I mean, yeah, that's fair. Oh, perf <laughs> goes to the grab perfectly spaced. So he's like, I'll yeah. Go for the another shout out to Doctor Payblaze's improved spacing that we talked about in game one. I didn't. Yeah, and I didn't realize until right now how well his spacing has improved. Oh, he he definitely uh -oh. should gone for the grab there. Yeah, he definitely should have gone for the grab. However, I think K-Blaze could have probably kept that jab going and done a lot more shield damage. Oh, there's counter. Even possibly breaking the shield there. He, he was locked I don't, in. No, I, I don't think you... It doesn't... I think it's one of those that eventually stops. Mm. It's not something you can keep animals doing. Yeah, it's not, a, it's not like Fox's or Falcon's rapid yeah. jab where you just keep on keeping on. One thing I would like to see from Dr. K-Blaze more is, like, he's not grabbing. No. And so, like, it gives two chance to the idea that he can just stay in shield. Yeah, there's like, like except for possibly worrying about like a broken shield, there's nothing that two chains has to fear while being in shield. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, tipper forward smash, yeah, that's a danger, but yeah, like right there, we're that seeing it. He just, he's like, oh, I'll shield. I have nothing to worry about a dash grab or a pivot grab or anything. So that's a good call, Pow Pow. Yeah. Okay. Right, so now we're gonna we're seeing. If, let's see how Doctor K Blaze does on the Saga Champions. We're, last stock, game three. Definitely looking like he's in control. And in, in, in this situation, we always see two, two two chains. We either see the one who, like, lights on fire and goes, like, NBA jam. You just made three Come shots in a row. Side. Like, it's, it's you know, it's prime time. Or we see the one that SDs, like, oh, instantly. No. So we will see which one shows up right now. We're also seeing, like, Dr. K. Boys' spacing is kind of falling on the wayside. He needs yeah. to... Uh, he needs to not chase two chains quite as much as he is, and that's because he's hungry for the kill. Um, a lot of you know inexperienced or lesser experienced players notice that there's oh. that they get at uh, you know a higher percent on their opponent. And they're like, okay, I can stop playing this patient game. All I have to do is get one hit, and I'll, I'll have it. And then they stop worrying about the fundamentals. That was actually Fonz's problem a long time ago. Yeah. Is that his spacing would be immaculate all the way up until he'd be going for the kill, and then it would just fall away, and he'd you know choke it away. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have that problem anymore, but a similar situation that is happening. Good. All right, so two good chains there for your brother. Biscuit risk doesn't pay off as a good biscuit. No triscuits but, uh, when you risk it the biscuit. Good stuff to him.